Hey, hey, it's Crazy Cephalopoda, and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I hate to start off being kind of a downer, but I'm hoping that I can get through this playthrough sometime in the near future. And I say that because I actually have a surgery coming up. And the surgery, I'm not going to give you too many personal information, uh, details about it, but it will probably keep me from using my dominant arm for like six weeks, it said. I'm hoping not that long. Uh, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be playing a whole bunch while I'm recovering. Um, I'm also going to take this summer to like go spread my dad's ashes and stuff. So I'm hopefully going to get through the rest of the Subnautica playthrough. And then I may take a little bit of a break. So bear with me here. We last left off somewhere. Um, I believe we had gone to some area that had a bunch of ice worm leviathans. Really big things. We came across like an alien teleporter and some kind of facility. Um, and there wasn't a lot of conclusion there, I think. I think we found body tissue, that was it, for Alan. And now, we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I think we're gonna go back, and there's a couple artifacts we haven't scanned yet for Alan. And at some point, we have to figure out where all this stuff is that Marguerite needs in order to shut down the tower, because we still haven't done that. I don't know if that's still important or not, but let's hop into it today. Oh, I forgot, I'm still over by like the glacial basin area the floating eyeballs beneath me. I think the first goal for today then is to get out of here. And if we look at the map, let me think. Yes, there are three different alien artifacts that we need to get. And there's a couple ships nearby the base that I wanted to explore and a big old hole. So I'm gonna go there first. So we're just kind of chugging along here. And one thing I was noticing in Subnautica that I think is kind of interesting, I don't know what the purpose of it is, but our uh, sea truck and the sea moth both tell you the temperature of the water. And I think that's cool because we talked before about how like water sh uh, regulates itself in terms of heat. It has a high specific heat. It doesn't change temperature easily. Um, but one thing that's really cool in things like lakes uh, or bodies of water that are more uh, held in one place than like the ocean is that temperature can actually cause the water to create layers and we call that stratification and so this may be why like if you were in a lake with your friends and you're swimming or whatever you'll be like uh did somebody just pee in the water because it's warm here and it's cold over there um, but no what actually happens is that because of the density of water it changes uh to where the cold water is actually more dense. Cold water sinks towards the bottom. Warmer water stays up top because that's where the sunlight is. And so there are times of the year in certain lakes where it will stratify and make separate distinct layers where the top layer is called the epicline, I think, uh, epilimnion. There's the metalimnion, which is like the middle, and then the hypolimnion, which is the bottom. So having said that, I've noticed the temperature is about one degree over here. I'm curious if you follow temperature in the game, if you see anything interesting. I'd also like to know like if the organisms have adaptations to the different temperatures as well. So kind of looking to see that information as we head towards this next alien artifact. I don't know what's happening. Please let me. Oh no, I went to the deep zone. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up, please. I went to the wrong zone. Ah, uh, no. No, thank you. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Please let me out of here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I cannot get out. I have no chance of escape. I'm stuck, literally. You think I can outrun it with my 13% health? <laughs> I, no, for sure not. You think it'll find me? Maybe it'll just go after the sea truck. I'm gonna scan you before I die, please. No! Ugh. Well, I guess we know where the map ends. I'm, uh, I'm gonna redo that part. I'm gonna try not to murder all the wildlife in this video. I don't know what happened last time, but I went on like a murder spree and I feel terrible about it. Um, or the time before that, perhaps. I killed a lot of things and I really didn't want to. You know what, I'm, uh, I'm learning my lesson when it comes to saving too. I think that's like a bone shark. We're in a hydrothermal vent area. This is like the biome where the, yeah, there's the big vent garden. I think that's what they're called. Ooh. I remember there was a big chelicerate. I think that's what they're called. 
keep an eye out for me, okay? You just let me know if you hear something coming after me. I'm pretty sure we got attacked here once. I'm kind of hesitant. Is that a baby? Those are babies! We probably can't go up there, but, so I'm not even gonna try. I'm more interested in what's down here anyway. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there's a crevice there. We're definitely not fitting the sea truck in there. I am curious, how is the vent garden attached? Let's find out. Okay. Interesting. It kind of just adheres to the bottom. Let's see if we can figure out how to get this. I don't like that sound. We're so close. Yes! I would have never thought to look here. While we're here, um... Okay, what are you? What are you? Sea truck teleportation module? Tether tool. Oh, shoot. What does that mean? Sea truck teleportation module. You know what? I don't even care about that. I don't care about that either. That's exciting. Do you think we can go even faster around the map? That would be fantastic. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though, who knows. It probably takes a thousand iron ore that we don't have. There's another one of those discus fish. I thought I heard something making sounds. But maybe not. Neat. God dang it. <laughs> I forget that we can, um... If I could ever figure out how to just get in the truck. I know we can store stuff in here. Whatever, I'm leaving. Let's go to the next big cache. Let's go further down. Oops. Excuse me. How do I get back to her? Okay, angry woman. She still won't talk to us, but she is down here. And there is probably some way to go deeper somewhere. Obviously there has to be. Or watch the uh, body cache and the other architect thing, not even be related to this. It's just like outside nearby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're trying though, we're trying. You have to get all the artifacts for Alan. That would make sense. All right, we're at the angry lady's base. Let's see if we can navigate. There's an alien artifact there and a body cache over there. Can we go down? Whee! Huh. game gives you waypoints like help you to find stuff but at the same time one of the things I really liked about the original Subnautica is that you pretty much had to find everything on your own like you really didn't have any help and at times it was frustrating I will admit but other times it was also kind of cool to not have any help I'm saving I'm scared I don't know what I'm seeing ooh pretty can we mine that? That's gorgeous. Let me get out and check out things. This looks like a new biome. I see something there. It looks like the body cache is getting further away. I don't think this is necessarily the right direction, but I do want to check it out. 
Oh. Yay, new tech. Let's see what these are and if they're mineable. Large crystal formation. Let's see, Morganite. It's a rare variety of beryl, a durable mineral consisting of beryllium, aluminum, silicate. Its striking purple coloration is an indication that trace amounts of manganese were present during formation. It definitely has a whole different vibe down here. What is this? Jade membrane. This species features multiple circular nodes that are filled with a thin green membrane with a scattering of luminescent white dots. The membrane is mildly sticky and emits a pheromone that draws small fish and microbacteria that get caught in the membrane and then digested. That's a cool adaptation. It's similar but not similar to this one thing that I love. There's a macroinvertebrate called a caddisfly. And caddisflies are cool because they build cases out of rocks and other things. Um, and they sit in the case, so really only like their face and stuff is out. But there are some caddisflies that are called net spinner caddisflies. And they will literally build a web like this out of, uh, I don't even know what they use, some kind of secreted, uh, secreted mucousy material. But it basically acts as a net so like small little bits of filtered particles come through and that's what they use to eat. So it's like the food comes to you, right? You don't even have to go to the food. It's like DoorDash, but for aquatic insects. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm curious. I don't think we're going the right direction for whatever it is we're looking for, but obviously there's stuff down here. I hope. Stuff for us to scan. The crystals are really neat. That's a nice touch. We're still going. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. What does that mean? That means I save. <laughs> There's a rock puncher and a big old crevice here. Should I go without the light or with the light? I think we can make our way around. Let's go. If you see something, you just let me know so I can get out of here. When you say it's near, how near do you mean? Like, in the general vicinity? Because that's fine. Or do you mean, like, in front of my face near? Oh, God, I scared myself. Shut up, shut up. I'm listening. I'm hard of hearing, please. No, I heard that. I like in games, sometimes they put subtitles to let you know. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, what's happening? What was going on here? What's happening? Oh my lord. What is that? That's the Leviathan. Ah! <laughs> Please. I thought I was being quiet. It was above me the whole time. I really need to fix my ship. Can it get me if I just come down here? Oh my god, I'm scared. How did I miss that giant sucker fish looking thing? Alright, alright, alright. Let's park it down here. Surely it can't get us here. I'm not even gonna save in case it does actually follow me. What was it? That would have been bad. Well, that was one way to find it. That's one of the problems with being hard of hearing in games like these. When I wear headphones like this, it doesn't account for the fact that one of my ears can't hear. And so sometimes stuff will sneak up on me because I can't locate where the sound is coming from. I just hear that there's a vague noise in the area. Where, though? But where, though? Was it up? It's also creepy. Because <gasps> you can't see very well. I'm sure it can. Oh my god, please. What is it? What is it? I gotta know. I gotta know! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shadow Leviathan. Please don't hurt me, but get close enough for me to look at you. Oh, I hate the mouth. Don't you know I'm trying to scan you? I don't like the mouth, actually. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's got...
got a, what do they call that? Subterminal mouth pointing towards the bottom, which means it eats things below it, like me. That would kind of make sense that it came from above then. Wow, it moves fast. You know what, I'm gonna just consider myself lucky and go. That's cool. I really wanna be able to scan these things. Somebody let me know in the comments, can you actually scan these leviathans without having to kill them? I really don't want to even attempt to try. I hate killing things. I know you probably don't believe me because I killed so many things in like one of the last videos, but I really do. So if I could not kill it and get it to be still and friendly, <laughs> so I could scan it. I wanna know more about it. Are we headed the right direction? Which one is this? Okay, I think so. Oh, I remember these blue Warning. crystals. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh shit, is... I need to get up. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I forgot I've got a limit here. <laughs> Those crystals were from um, the lava... The lava area in the first one, right? Kyanite, yeah, I remember that. Okay, let's kind of navigate. We gotta go that direction now. How am I gonna get out of here? I didn't really think this all the way through. That's not good. Maybe I should, like, literally not save. I'm gonna try to not save the rest of the time so that if I need to escape, I can. I'll just backtrack my way out of here. Warning. Maximum death Hopefully. reached. Hull damage imminent. Oh no. It looks like it's not that much lower though. I may have to go by myself without the truck. I don't see any oxygen plants, so that's not good. I bet we can use this to upgrade the uh, truck though. I remember it needed something that we didn't have. You can go even deeper. This blows my mind. I probably shouldn't be delving this deep. It's like the dwarfs in Lord of the Rings. They went too deep and got greedy and guess what happened? Gandalf died. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm gonna suffocate before I get there, but we're gonna try. Oh, there's another one. Or it's the same one, I don't know. It could be either. I have no clue how to get to that. Apparently we weren't even supposed to come down here. <laughs> That's just my luck. I don't know what to do! Help me! Shut up. I'm trying to navigate in the dark with that thing <laughs> swimming around. Oh. I don't see any way to get there from here. Unless there's some way to go further up and back over. Ooh. Can it see me? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah! I'm sorry, I said! I don't have a weapon! Spit me out! Warning. Maximum depth three. I know! All damage imminent. There's nothing I can do except run. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think that we are equipped to come down here yet. If I'm making an honest assessment. I think we need to upgrade our ship, upgrade our weapons, and figure out where we're actually going before we attempt to deal with all this. I don't even know how to get away from this thing, to be honest. A Shadow Leviathan? What were the big ones that were in the first Subnautica? I remember there were some really big ones. Ghost Leviathans, yeah. They're cousins. OK, 
Okay, I, I thought I saw it swimming back there, but maybe not. Maybe if I'm not in the ship, it will leave me alone. This looks important. There's so much space here. I really can't navigate. I know there's a Pathfinder tool that you can use. Ooh, different color crystals. These ones are red. Is this important? The other ones were purple, right? I can't get too far away. This seems important. That's a whole new area. Can we scan these? Yeah, they are. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, this is red barrel. It's an extremely rare mineral. These crystal formations are abnormally large and suggest a very specific geochemical environment. In order for these crystals to form, the surrounding water must be rich with beryllium, the environment must be very hot, and there must be surface fractures or cavities. It is complex looking. This is cool. I don't have enough oxygen, but I'll just go until I die so I can see new things. Eclipse plant. This distinctive vibrant plant is often found growing out of green crystal outcroppings that appear similar to jade. Okay. I'm pretty sure jade's another type of Calorie intake recommended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jade's another type of crystal. This is incredibly deep. This has to be where the stuff is, right? That we need? It seemed like it was further up though. I'm just gonna go till I die, just so I can see what I see. I feel like I need to go upgrade stuff before I try to even come down here. It's 800 meters down. I definitely need another depth module of some kind. It's cool. I haven't seen a lot of wildlife. It's the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. A facility, hmm? If I can avoid that thing. Do you think it has oxygen? That would be sweet. How would I even? Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! I saw it on the side! I saw it! Please, please, listen. I'm sightseeing. I can hear you munching right behind me. I'm busy. I'm just. No way. No way! This is the fabrication facility where we will construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? I am trying to encourage you. No way. There's no way. This is an important area, I guess, that we're going to have to get to, but until we have all the parts, we can't do anything? I think that's what he just said to me. But I'm going to look around anyway, because Alan's not the boss of me. What is this? Oh! Architect tissue. Root pustule, synthetic fibers, and gel sacs. Is that to make him? Are there other things we have to make? Is that what these are? And that's why we had to scan stuff that we're missing. We're gonna make his body here. And this. Kind of creepy looking, Alan. Alan, <laughs> what is all this, Alan? <laughs> Speak to me. I'm just looking around. Interesting. I cannot believe that we found this, and I also cannot believe that I don't have everything that I need for this, so it's pretty much worthless at this point, I guess. Huh. I wish I had a beacon <laughs> or something that I could leave here. If I drop the pingling, does it leave a little marker of some kind? Let's find that out. That would be really smart. Please, <laughs> please. I could leave the prawn suit if I could get it down here, but it would probably break before I could figure out how to get here again. Let's find out. Um... I can't drop it. Can I only drop it on land? That'd be pretty dumb. Drop it. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, it does, it does, it does, it does. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna die. Um, let me find a fish to eat. I'm sorry, friend. This is the end of you. <laughs> okay, cool. So we will have a little waypoint for the way back. That's helpful. I'm just having some sushi before I try to get back to my ship. I'm gonna have to try to be careful too because of oxygen. I am actually gonna save because I feel like we actually now know where we need to be at the end. How does it find me every time? I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. I know you want me to, but I'm not. I'm not even gonna look at you. I'm not even acknowledging you're there. Because if I don't acknowledge you, then you're not real. That's what my therapist says. There, see, it went away. It is all in my head. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so excited for this. I don't know what this is, but this is neat. It's not what we needed. It's not what we were looking for. But I guess that is where we will help actually to make Alan's body. If only we can figure out how to actually get the things that we're missing. Ah, I thought it was down here, but apparently not. Where's the angry lady? Angry woman, where are you? alien artifact and then the body cache that we can never seem to figure out. This looks like a hole that we can put the sea truck in. Ooh. This also looks like in-game stuff from the first one. That's gotta be a good sign, right? Just in case. <laughs> Have we been here? Surely not, I don't remember this. Ooh. Uh, no, we're so far away. <laughs> but there is something here. Let's check it out. was 500 meters below sea level chunks of the sea base sank around me one hand gripped the monster scales the other was clamped around the shard of metal i'd lodged into her eye socket a reaper wounded maybe but still deadly i'd already taken out one eye i damn near carved out the other we were headed for the void at the crater's edge blinded she was spiraling deeper I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. It ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's ribcage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature, and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean. Nothing else. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Not what we were looking for, but kind of cool. Somebody pointed this out in one of my other videos, and I can't believe that I didn't realize it. Um, apparently in the first game, we came across the Degrassi sea base, and there were these logs from, like, a guy, his son, and her, that they had survived, um, you know, being stranded there. Their ship had, I think, blown up as well. And so, she is from the first game, and she has somehow managed to survive all this time, just being a kooky, crazy old lady down here. But she seems to be doing well for herself, so you know, there's that. At this point, I'm just going to...
gonna see if I can figure out how to get to the other artifact that's above instead of the body cache. And maybe we'll get some more direction at some point. Um, and then I'm going to try to figure out what we need to upgrade the sea truck so we can go a little bit deeper. That would be really helpful for us to do. It says we're so close. At least to this one. Oh yes. Have we actually found it? Thank God. That was hard. I'm actually, I shouldn't say anything until we actually scan it. Cause I don't see any oxygen down here. Should I go back and get my ship or just eh? What am I supposed to scan? What am I scanning? Hello? Alan, speak up. I don't know what I'm scanning. I'm gonna have to go back. I'll try to come back here and bring the ship and see if we can figure out what it is. Let me even turn the scan thing back on because I think it just turned off, honestly. I just can't figure out <laughs> where I'm going wrong. I'm just trying to get deep enough to find this architect body cache. I'm just assuming at this point it's gotta be by the angry woman's base. I've been here before. I'm sure I've been here already, right? There's no way that I'm in a new area. No, this seems vaguely familiar, but how do, how could I have missed this? I thought I was here already. Like 100%. I have been here. Yeah, I was talking about uh, Marine Snow. It's where this big anemone thingy is. Yeah, 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 there it is. How did I miss something? It says it's even deeper. There's gotta be somewhere that we can go to go deeper then, right? How would I even know? <laughs> How would I even know which way to go? So we'll just pick a random direction. Yeah, because I was fascinated by this thing. I remember there's all this marine snow. Ooh, there's a pillar right there. I was literally sitting right here earlier in one of my previous episodes. I don't know how I completely missed this. We're going deeper. Hopefully we can go deep enough to get what we need. This is the closest we've ever been, so I really have my fingers crossed that this is the right direction, or I'm gonna cry. And trust me when I say, I cry really ugly, so it's not gonna be good for anybody. Ooh, ooh, not good. It looks like it's shut, though. It's open, okay, we did it, we did find something. <laughs> After the last thing um, was not there, I was worried that I was not going to be able to find anything. Ooh, this looks cool and spooky. What is all this? Alan. Speak to me, Alan. Ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is backed up by carbon dating. The plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of cells and transforms them to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of times. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display, amongst other alien artifacts, suggest that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. And then there's whatever this thing is. This seems important, doesn't it? Ooh, what is this? How did I miss this? Architect component. Is that like a... This skeleton is very dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. 
Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. Aww. I think I understand. All right, so I'm going to stop here. I don't know how long this video is going to be. So far, we found, uh, what did we find before? His DNA, right? Or tissue. Now we found some kind of skeletal remains. We know where the end base is. There was an artifact that I was looking at earlier, but I couldn't see. I'm hoping that's not like the last thing that we need. But I think my plans are going to be, before I make the next video, I'm just going to upgrade everything. My uh, prawn suit, my sea truck, everything, so that I can go deeper, stay deeper. Um, and then we'll see where that takes us. We still haven't figured out the Marguerite side story, but I'm okay with like diverting to Alan right now. So wish me luck. I hope that you liked it. If so, feel free to subscribe and otherwise I hope you have a great day.